Oh, yo, dude, this guy's trying to kill me. He's trying to get in my uh, thingy, my jigger, dude. Uh, yeah, he's still trying. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy Ethan, and well, it's been a while since I actually posted something for gaming. So in this video, I think we should dedicate it to Call of Duty. So without further ado, my dudes, I present to you my list of the top five Call of Duty games of all time. Um, side note here, guys, this is my list. So if you guys don't like it, you know that's cool, dude. But it's my list, and if you got a problem, make your own, man. All right, that's no problem, dude. That's cool. But hey, I will say this though, I gotten some help from the community, so it's not just like my opinion personally, it's like also some other um, opinions like to consider, you know? Got them. Number 5 -0. I'd like to give this spot to the one Call of Duty that really pushed the franchise forward. That one is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Not only was it different from its predecessors, pushing it out of its World War II phase like an emo boy listening to his Green Day, but it introduced Modern Warfare that was rarely seen for most companies at the time. Although giving credit where credit is due, we did have modern shooters, but lots of them were on PC and were not really popular on consoles. This COD pushed the envelope and more some dude. During a time when console multiplayer wasn't that great, it showed up on our doorstep, asked our fathers to take us out on a date, and paid the bill in full. What a gentleman, dude. Not to mention this was the first COD that I was introduced to, so it deserves a spot on this list. Great multiplayer, great single player, what more can you ask for? Lastly, I heard it's one of the most balanced CODs out there, with thousands of players still filling up the servers to this day. Number 4 Well, I know what you're thinking. How can Call of Duty themselves top Modern Warfare Original? It was so great and fun, there's no way they can pull it off again, right? Well, mates, <laughs> that's where you're wrong. You see, the year was 2009. Call of Duty World at War had its spotlight almost finished, but there, in the horizon, is that Crisis 2? Can it be Battlefield 3? No, dude, it's Modern Warfare 2. What's not to love about this game? This game was so good that at a time, it was put as the most sold game ever. And who wouldn't doubt it? Call of Duty introduced a more fast-paced gameplay to their multiplayer, added way more guns than its predecessors, and not to mention, it had a very memorable campaign. <laughs> oh boy, dude. RIP my dude Ghost, man. <laughs> he didn't do nothing wrong, dude. <laughs> but that aside, though, there was even a co-op mode that I myself actually enjoyed playing with either siblings or friends on Steam. So in all, that's why I called Modern Warfare 2 deserves this spot, dude. Numero 3 Well, this is not my best moment, putting Infinite Warfare on my top best COD list, but hear me out my dudes, cause I think you guys might agree with me on this. Sure, this Call of Duty is not what we were expecting, especially since the trailer showed us a very weird like space battle, and people were immediately calling out they wanted a boots on the ground experience, but with this Call of Duty, I felt like I was satisfied with it. And this is why. The campaign felt very fresh, it takes place in space yeah, but for the most part, you're doing ground missions, and scenery with visuals looked really nice dude, not to mention it had a mass effect feel to it, exploring where you want to go, commanding your ship, and choosing your weapons along with missions. I also got very attached to characters and I loved the ending dude. Along with that, we get multiplayer which is typical of a Call of Duty nowadays, but lastly we have zombies and that actually took a nice turn. I remember looking at the trailer and boy, I kinda got hooked. A zombie map with an amusement park? It's been little Viney's dream to do that, and now I can do that with my friends, dude? Sign me up. Here's 80 bucks for Modern Warfare Remaster while you're at it, dude. So there you go. Hopefully you don't dislike this video just for the sake of having this game on here, but it needed to be said, and if you agree, you know, just, yeah, if you disagree, just hit me up in the comments, dude. It doesn't matter, we can have a nice little discussion, you know, it's all good. However, I don't really recommend this game on PC since, you know, 90% of the servers are like dead and there's no one on multiplayer besides probably just me lurking, but you know, yeah. Number 2 -y. Speaking of zombies, you know which game had one of the greatest zombie experiences in my opinion besides Black Ops 1 and World War? That's right, Black Ops 2. 
This game really hit off the multiplayer and zombies very well. It introduced many more iconic weapons, not to mention zombie maps and characters, plus it had a very nice campaign. Everyone really loved this. This one took place in the future, and although Modern Warfare 1 and 2 did have future settings, this one was the furthest from all. Introducing drones, robots, and many things that you could use even for killstreaks, dude. What I personally loved about this one is that it branched from the first Cold War to even a second one in 2025. And for the first time ever, introducing a multiple ending story. We really had a blast playing this on Veteran. This one I personally recommend even to this day, dude. People have gone out to say that this Call of Duty, like after uh, this one, dude, like all Call of Duties went downhill. So take it as you will and let's move on to our uh, honorable mentions, dude. Now, dude, here are some honorable mentions that uh, really deserve a spot on this list, but I can't really make room and I'm lazy, all right? So uh, for uh, for first one, we have What at War that introduced zombies for the first time. Really giving Cod a fresh new breath of air. Next we have Advanced Warfare for introducing exoskeletons, which is now a staple for most Call of Duties. And lastly we have Call of Duty 1 and 2 for really starting off the franchise. Those two games were amazing and without them, you know, there wouldn't really be a franchise to love and play. Number 1 Well, I really think Black Ops 1 deserves the top 1 spot on the list, and here's why. Black Ops 1 really pushed the multiplayer landscape, adding many more game modes, introducing more perks, way more attachments, emblems, skins, maps, killstreaks, you name it, and that was only the multiplayer. After Black Ops 1, all other cops were really trying to copy it. Black Ops 1 set the standards for all Call of Duties afterwards. We have a really nice campaign, featuring events that happened after War at War and taking place during the Cold War, a very interesting time period, might I add. We have zombies that were redefined and improved upon, featuring somewhat of a storyline and easter eggs. And lastly, the multiplayer. All other CODs at least now have like 3 game modes and they try to push further than their predecessor. But at this rate, maybe their originality is starting to dry up. But regardless, this was and still is a pretty great game. Not to mention Xbox One made this game backwards compatible. And you can score a copy for like $10 at your nearest GameStop. Well. There you have it folks, my top 5 Call of Duty games of all time. Maybe I'll do a similar one for a Battlefield series, but uh, keep in mind, I never really grew up with it, being mainly on PC or just out of reach for younger me. So keep an eye out and uh, I'll see you guys next year with another gaming video. Peace out my dudes. Also, don't forget to smash the MF like button. Can we get a trillion likes please? If I don't get a trillion likes, then I'll delete my Twitch account and I'll litter at the town park. Please don't make me do this, so smash that like button and have a great dude day dudes. Peace.